Star Wars, one of the most greatest series of time, not only in the video game industry. Now, Star Wars titles really do range from god-awful to amazing. Now, let me go over to one of those in-between areas that's still pretty great. Star Wars The Force Unleashed Uno. Now, let's, let's give me a background, because... You see, back in 2008, Star Wars games were certainly not what we have today. You see, back then, Star Wars games sucked a lot, okay? You only got a Star Wars game once in every blue moon, because back then there was the prequels, which were really, uh, <laughs> really something. Love won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. So, because of the prequels leaving this message, there could only be so many Star Wars games you could have. And I'll admit, a lot of them were okay. Okay, you got your, your, your fighters, you got your, your pod racing, and you got a lot of fun things you might be able to do. However, though, Star Wars is mainly going around lightsabers and lightsaber combat being able to own people with the coolest weapon ever imagined. Now, they hadn't really got this. Uh, the only game that's ever really successfully done it as well as Force Unleashed, I would say, is probably Jedi Academy. To be honest, it gets a pretty overrated rep for its combat, considering it's actually kinda old in concerns to its combat. You can really kind of see the background that they were coming from with the Star Wars games. And I decided, because I was re-downloaded a bunch of Star Wars games and hype for Fallen Order, I decided, hey, why not revisit a good old classic? Now, at the start of this game, you start out playing as good old Darth Vader with one of the most iconic Star Wars opening game moments in probably history of the entire galaxy. So, you see, Beta comes in pretty mad, chokes an officer, and goes off. He kills a ton of Wookiees, and, I mean, if you're me, you also killed a ton of the Stormtroopers, because, I mean, they're the most, they're, okay, they're the most slashable things ever created. If, you, if you've ever played this game, you know what I'm talking about. You, these Stormtroopers, you cut them down like butter, okay? Not only, you know, George Lucas was right, okay? They, they're real useless. <laughs> that you eventually uh, come across this Jedi so you see the Jedi you're like get out of here you, you kill the Jedi you just slam him and you slam him again and then he dies so when Vader comes in he finds oh there's a kid he takes the kid and then he's like oh he's, he's got he's got metachlorians in him so we got to take him but then this officer wants to and then he, he kills the officers so yeah you're taken over by Vader Vader takes you to a ship where presumably you train for a very long time. So while you're training, you know, you learn a lot of skills, you learn how to be a little Sith warrior. Because, you know, you know, you know, we've seen a lot of people, you know, train, you know, being Jedi and stuff. But this time you get to truly be a Sith. And to be honest, well, the Sith are pretty interesting. You know, Sith are really cool players, you know. So, uh, now the first real mission, like the real demo, is your character gets up. He's like, Vader, you gotta go kill this Coda guy. Take his lightsaber, come back to me. So you do that, you go out, you go out with your little pal Juno, who's your, who's your little guy, who's an old girl who helps you with your, your, your flying, and then you go off in a cutscene that's graphics have not aged very well, and with Proxy, who's a transmission guy who apparently wants to kill you for some reason. And so you're off, you're off, you're going. You kill some stormtroopers, you get to him, you throw him off a building, you blind him, Uno, but you're done. Then you go back, he says, oh, there's another Jedi on this junk land. You go to the junk land, you find the old Jedi, with, who's apparently a rogue, on a planet that looks a lot like the Jedi Temple. You murder him, boom, kapoosh. You go to the third place, uh, Shakti, he's not dead yet, and you go there, and you, you, you kill her. And next to a beast. These aren't these aren't really my favorite levels, to be honest. Except for the Coda one. Uh, so after that, you go back and you're like, Vader, now we can kill the Emperor because we're so powerful. And then my safe broke. So this will all be continued in part two. Yeah, th this game is like very very buggy. So now I have to replay the entire thing. And since you all want to see this video, you're gonna have to wait. Goodbye. Till then.